Hello everybody, it's Mrs. Mari. This video tutorial will show you how to log into your student's new reading app, Sora. Sora is a digital library that allows our Nora students to search for, borrow, and read a vast array of high quality children's books right from their school issued iPad. Just a note that this tutorial focuses on grades K to three as all students in grades four to six were taught how to do this in library. So let's get started. On your student's iPad, scroll to the Sora app. This app was sent out to all school issued iPads. Click to open. Click on the green button, My School is in the MLS Commonwealth eBook Collection. Scroll to find William E. Norris School. And click on Our School. Next, click on the green button, Sign In using William E. Norris. Click Continue. Next, Type in your student's Google account. Every student at Norris has been set up with a Google account, and this will probably look familiar to you if you have older students in the school. The accounts are set up by year of high school graduation. For kindergarten, that would be 2033. For first grade, 2032. For second grade, 2031 and for third grade, 2030. The numerals are followed by the student's last name and the first three letters of the student's first name. At student.hr-k12.org. Take a moment to write down your student's Google account and then click in the box to sign in. For this kindergarten student, whose name is Zachary Latour, his Google account would read as follows, 33 for year of graduation, Latour ZAC at student.hr-k12.org. And now you will be asked to enter the password, which is the same for all Norris students, Norris123, all small letters, no spaces. Accept the terms and conditions. And now you're almost ready to blast off. Click OK. Now your student is ready to begin using the app. To begin, click on the Me tab at the bottom of the page. You can change the name that appears when your student is using the app by clicking Nickname. Type in the name you'd like to appear. And now that name will appear every time your student uses the app. To search for books, go to Explore. When you go to the Explore tab, you'll see books that are always available. You'll see ebooks, audiobooks, there are even some read to me books. You can change your preferences to tell the app what kind of books you prefer, or search for books by title, author, or subject. You can go to your shelf tab to see the books that you have checked out or the books that you've placed on hold. And that's pretty much all there is to it. If you have any questions, please email me, pmari at hr-k12.org. I hope you enjoy the app and have many hours of happy reading. Bye for now.